Okay, so this is what we're aiming for. I want to click on show me the slides. Here's the first slide. It's a pop-up. And then when I click next, I should see another slide, a brand new pop-up. And that works fine. Click next again. Should have four slides here. I could hit previous and go backwards. So this is what we want. Okay, so this is what's happening. I'm going to click on this page. Now show me the slides. And I get my first slide. That's great. That pops up fine. Click next. And the second slide does not show. And I'm trying to scroll here. And it seems like the page is frozen, meaning I can't scroll. Uh, let's try it again. I'm going to click on that. Show me the slides. And now nothing's happening. Let's try this again. This is the page that is having the CSS problem that we're going to try to troubleshoot. But this time I'm going to have my DevTools console off to the side. So let's click Show Me the Slides. The first slide shows up. That looks great. If we look at my debugger statements in the console, I can see that the slide one did open, try to open, and we're seeing it. Let's click on Next to bring up the second pop-up, the second slide. And that's not showing. And then my scroll is not working. My page is frozen. So the second pop-up, second slide did not show. And I'm looking at the debugger here. And I could see that it tried to show. But we didn't see it. OK, click this again. Nothing happens. but. The debugger shows, OK, you tried to bring up slide one again, but we're not seeing it. Try to add some CSS to our Chrome DevTools on that page to see if we could fix that. So I'm going to use this. This is the documented fix. Copy that. Head back over to my DevTools. I'm still in the console tab. I need to switch to my elements tab. And CSS usually goes in the head. So I'm going to expand this head tag. I'm going to edit that. Edit as HTML. Now, right after that first head tag, I'm going to add style tags, opening and closing. And in between that, I'm going to add that CSS fix from the documentation. When I click outside of this edit area, it should save. Now let's go back to our page. And I didn't refresh this. I didn't have to reload it. I just went back to it. And we could see that the first pop-up is now displaying. So it was always displaying, but something was blocking and some CSS was interfering. Let's see if the next button works. So I clicked on Next. Now this is the same page that had the problem before. And we could see. Slide two is trying to show, and it showed successfully this time. How about number three? Beautiful. That's working great. All four slides are showing. Previous and next buttons are working. Very clear when we edited that page, we edited in our browser using Chrome DevTools. So that's only on our computer on our browser. It's temporary. If I reload this page that was giving us problems before, this change here, the CSS that I added, will disappear. Let's go ahead and do that. Reload. I'm going to go to my Elements tab because we'll see everything's refreshing. We'll wait till the entire page loads. I'll go ahead, while that's loading, open up the head. And we could see my style tags are gone and the CSS is gone. If we go back to the page and start this all over again, the first slide shows. The second slide does not. Press on Show Me the Slides again and nothing happens. Why is that a, uh, such a big deal, adding CSS directly into the browser for that page? Well, it saves us time. I, I don't have to go to the back end. I might not even have access to the WordPress admin area. And I could 
test the fix very quickly, like we just saw, within minutes. Uh, I could do a lot more, but that's out of the scope, but we added some CSS. I could edit HTML, uh, etc. So now I know that that CSS fix works. I want to make that permanent. It's a little bit out of scope for this video, but we could do that very quickly. Um, one way to do it is go into your WordPress appearance and the customizer area. You'll see this additional CSS tab. You could open that up. I have a note to myself not to add anything here because I actually don't prefer doing it this way. I'd rather use a plugin. And this is just one of many snippet plugins. I already have one set up here where it applies that CSS fix for me. And you can see it looks pretty familiar, right? Uh, it does use some PHP, but th again, that's out of scope. But it's using the WordPress way or method to inject some CSS into your pages. So all I need to do is activate this. I'm going to save and activate. And then I'll go back to this page. We, we're seeing, again, that this is having the problem. I'm clicking here. I can't scroll. But when I reload it this time, it should pick up the CSS because now it's added to the back end and it's a permanent fix. Let's try that out. So let's go ahead and wait till it loads. Uh, I could scroll now, but I'm, I'm going to wait till it completely loads. And maybe a couple more seconds. Okay, that looks good. Let's say, show me the sides again. That one shows. Click next. Yay, and that works fine. Thanks for watching.